I think they're trying to say what shows am I competing in in 2024. All right, got it. So the first show, I have to do a qualifier because I lost my eligibility. You know, we had an over year long off season, improve this season. So I'm going to be doing a qualifier likely in Dallas, middle of June, June 15th. I got to check the name of that show. And then we're going to go for Universe on July 5th weekend in Jersey. So. Yeah. No, I am not doing Battle of Texas. What about Texas Pro? Oh, so okay, all right. I would love to do Texas Pro, but my dream pro show is to do Chicago Pro because that's my hometown. So I live in Texas, but I feel like I want to do Chicago Pro before I do Texas Pro. But it's here, so who knows? Because you look so boring. What are the sports bras you recommend? Oh, sports bras. Okay. So let me start by saying this. I actually don't do bras for a lot of support because I don't do plyo stuff in my, in, anymore. I'm not bouncing around, moving around. We're not doing all that, okay? <laughs> so I choose bras more for comfort. I always take the padding out. So some that I really like are some that I found on Amazon. I have, like, I have them linked in my Amazon store. I'll probably put it somewhere in the caption, somewhere down below. But they have a lot of um, different color variations that I really like. And that brand is called, is it QQQ? It's like Quinson Activewear. It's my Amazon, like more affordable brand. I'll call it that. Other ones that I really like, I've never gotten a bad bra from Bombshell Sportswear. I've had the one that I've had like four years. And I also really like this one too. This is from, wait, is that logo on the back? Yeah. Yeah. I would say those. Let's see, do I have any other recommendations? I have some that I probably would not recommend. And I only say this because I talk about their leggings and stuff a lot, and I wear a lot of their leggings. And those are the uh, sport bra sets with EV Fit Activewear. They're super cute, but listen, your, your stuff gonna be flopping out, okay? You're gonna be giving out free shows left and right. So they're, I think they're like really good if you're gonna like looking for activewear to wear out and about, but not necessarily to train. And I wouldn't train in any of their stuff, like, um, Nah. No free shows. No free shows. No. Or free toes. Or free toes. <laughs> or free toes. What's up? Uh, are those TVs that comfortable? Okay, let me just say this. They're not gonna be the bikinis that you're gonna wear out and be like comfy sitting up on the beach, but they're not like, oh my God, I can't wait to get this off. Like, I think they're good when you're getting on stage, getting up there, but when you're done, you're ready, you're ready to take that off. You're ready to take that off, yeah. I do. How old are you? 36. Yeah. How is your dating scene? Oh my God. The dating pool in San Antonio sucks. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure people have like peed in it and it might be a little poop in it. <laughs> and I believe someone has anthrax. Like it's, it's just horrible. Um, let me, okay, let me not say that. I think dating in, San, dating in any city is tough, right? It's challenging. Overall though, the kind of lifestyle that I want to have, the kind of partner that I know I want to have, in my life in that way, I haven't really seen that in San Antonio, right? I just think overall, it's a great city for a certain type of person, 
I think I just tend to do well and better in like places that are a little bit bigger. I'm from Chicago, so like I can just appreciate being somewhere that's a bit more diverse. People have a lot more kind of interest and in things going on. And yeah, yeah. So are you seeing anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I am not seeing anyone at the moment, no. How do you balance it all? Damn. It's, it's really fucking hard. Like, it's, it's just hard. There's no way I can, like, sugarcoat this answer to make it seem like it's not tough because it is. I think my, I live and thrive off of having, like, a structured schedule. So I know the times I'm going to be doing, like, my cardio. I know what I'm doing my training. I know what I'm doing client work on the training side and also the marketing side and it really has to everything else has to revolve around that piece not to say that I don't prioritize like you know being there for friends and family when needed but for the most part like if I don't have like a schedule around stuff like it's just too much to kind of do and I think the other piece of it too is just being really honest about like what's my social battery to do these things so of course as I get deeper into prep a lot of social things I'm just not gonna have the energy to do. And I tell people that up front, like, hey, listen, like, I appreciate the invite. I may or may not be able to make it just depending on what my body is doing that day. So I feel like that communication piece really helps out a lot. So people don't feel some kind of way when I'm not showing up. a good one the thing I look forward to the most I think it's seeing like the weekly shifts and changes because it's a very visually rewarding process as well unlike the improvement season where you just can't really like see like what's going on as much as not as drastic and in prep it's like you watch your body literally change like week over week over week and leading up to the show even like day to day and that's the part that I just really love seeing I think also too, just being on stage. Like that's, that's, I love it. Because I mean, it's just, it's the one thing that makes prep different than improvement season. Cause the stuff that we do day in and day out is the same. The posing, eating, stretching, all that kind of stuff is the same, you know? But actual show day, it's like, all right, we're here. It's time to bring it all on stage. You're gonna get it on and popping. They're gonna see me today. You know what I mean? Like it just makes it really, like, man, okay, I made it to the finish line, like, and we're here now. So I'd say daily changes and then show day.